welcome back to the vlog. Happy Friday. I'm already regretting not putting a spray tan on. I was like, I always put one on Thursday night or Thursday day, Friday day, one of the days so I can work through it and then like do my evening in it and then take a bath. A bath? Who takes a bath? Cruz does. <laughs> take a shower before bed so it's on like for like 12 hours because I hate sleeping in it. I will sleep in it only if I have to, but I decided this weekend I wasn't going to because for one, we're not really doing anything. We're home, which is great. So welcome back to a home vlog. I want to try to be so productive inside my house. Would love to finish editing everything that I've had the last month. I'm so behind on editing. Regardless, I have no plans. So I was like, I'm not gonna put a spray tan in. I'm gonna save it. But now I'm like crusty and musty. I have it like coming off half of my arm definitely regretting it but happy Friday I am getting ready to go get cruise I went for a walk over lunch is what you saw earlier and I tried to take Miss Penny with me and I've not been active the last like since prior to vacation when we went to um, the beach house with Scott's family I was not active. I have not been since then. And the one couple, there's two days I decided to lift again and I started bleeding and ended up in the ER. So it like freaked me out that I couldn't lift or anything. I think it was just bad timing of the whole situation. It had nothing to do with me lifting. I was lifting upper body, very low weight. It had nothing to do with that. Regardless, I haven't had any issues like that since and I think we're fine. I just need to get my butt back into gear. One, I feel way better when I do it. I feel like a lazy piece of beep the past few months. And my body, I just, energy wise, everything I just feel better if I just do it. So I just need to do it. So, and I know I'm pregnant. I know I'm gonna gain weight. I know I have a belly. It's just overall, it's me. It's from mental, like my mental mentality. Is that, that's not the word. Like my mental game, everything. Anyways, I tried to go on a walk today. I was like, it's beautiful outside. We're starting that fall morning weather. I'm gonna try to go on walks like tomorrow morning. Um, and any lunch breaks that I don't have like a lifting because I'm gonna try to get back on my Fit KC PDM. Man, we're really going on a tangent right now. Um, lunch workouts, so they do those twice a week and then there's like planned workouts you can do um, or like walks, they tell you to go on walks and stuff. So my walks, I wanna take it outside and take Sissy Girl. Well anyways, I got Penny all dressed and I got literally down our driveway, which is pretty long and she was already like behind me. Like I was trying to like pull her and I'm like, wait, do you not wanna go? So she gets out on the street and like we live kind of on country road so like you're walking you're not on a sidewalk you're on the street and she was acting like the floor was hot or the ground and so i bent down i was like it's not hot at all so i'm like i don't know what's going on but she's just old she's got those soft inside paws she's just an old girl um so anyways my neighbor next door stopped me to talk for a little bit and penny said goodbye i'm going home she walked herself all the way back home so anyways, I finished my walk. I only got 0.75 of a mile. I did not even finish a whole mile. It's just my lunch break. And I was talking to the neighbor, just timing and stuff just didn't work out. But I got a good little walk in and I'm excited to maybe start that back up. I'm not going to, actually I am. I'm gonna throw that out there. I'm starting my walks and my activity back up. I need to do something at least four to five times a week. Like I'm not talking like lift heavy for an hour, workout, blah, blah, blah. I just need to like, if I can walk for 20 minutes, that's a workout. That's 20 minutes of a walk that I haven't been doing daily. So anyways, we're on that tangent. I'm going to get cruise from daycare a little early because um, I'm gonna take him back to get a x-ray. Last Friday he fell, I think I already explained in my last vlog or the race weekend vlog. He fell at school off the slide and he got an x-ray last Friday. They didn't see anything like on it, but they said in a week, if he's still limping, bring him back. Well, he is still limping. He plays like normal, jumps off the couch, rides his bike, plays at school. They haven't really said anything about it. But at the end of the day, he is bawling and holding his leg and tells me it hurts so bad. He was limping last night. I know it's like here and there. I notice him still limping and I don't know what's going on. So I want to take him and make sure we're not messing with any like growth plate or anything like that. Making sure that there is not a small fat fracture. So we're going back to get another x-ray. I'm hoping they'll be able to just see it at his pediatrician x-ray place and not send us to like an ortho to like do a growth scan, but we'll do whatever we have to do. I just wanna make sure he's like good to go and not like broke and we're just telling him to suck it up, which we haven't been. Like I have been telling him to rest. He just won't take medicine and he wants to play. So we let him play. So that's what we're getting ready to do to start our Friday and then picking up groceries. And honestly, I'm probably going to swing by 
um, Target need to get Scott an anniversary card. Our anniversary is on Monday. We're not like doing anything crazy. We might go to Co Wetzel next week. We're gonna sit down and look at tickets as there's not that many tickets left. Um, and do like dinner in Co Wetzel, which is on a Thursday next Thursday. So that would be our anniversary date this weekend. Um, we don't really have plans. He talked about maybe going to dinner. Um, but we have no plans, so I don't really see that going. And I have no spray tan on, not that that matters, but it makes me feel better when I like, get up and have plans and have a spray tan. But that is what's going on this weekend. Like I said, we're home. Bruce is spending the night at my mom's house on Saturday. My dad is actually out of town for the week, um, going on his annual dirt bike trip. And, uh, and my mom asked to have Charlotte and Cruz over. So they're going to have a granny sleepover, which I think is fantastic. And I want to try to clean our closets out or do something crazy. Someone is coming over to build a truck in the backyard this weekend. Our friend, um, Bubba Dean, and I don't know who else is coming with him, but building a truck. We used to have a turn truck in the back. I need to get going. And it's like completely overgrown. Scott's been mowing it for the past two days. He's going to mow again tonight. Um, to get it ready for him to work on it tomorrow but we're getting a like a legit just backyard track like not I shouldn't say legit because it's gonna be just a background background I cannot talk a backyard track um nothing too crazy probably a jump or two like nothing crazy so that would be nice for like riding days we don't have to like travel and go find somewhere to ride we, we can just have like a couple of our close friends I did tell Scott this track is not open up for everyone one liability and two I do not need everyone and their mom know where we live at all so it has to be people we are friends with and or trust or know um, friend of a friend type of thing so we will still be keeping a very small low-key and we have neighbors like we don't need to like mess up their peace and quiet out here in the country every freaking day which when we had our turn track we only did it like twice a month pushing it maybe once a week that's like max had a really good non-busy week but or month but we're gone all the time so it really won't be that much so i'm excited about that just to have that here cruz will love it and i think scott's gonna try to build him a little stasic track on the side of our house here so we don't have to go far the track would be in the back back so you'd have to ride the side by side or walk a bit but anyways that's what's happening this weekend i'm trying to be super productive meal prep get ready for the next week because this last weekend when we came home really late on Sunday on Monday I feel like we were thrown into this four-day week and we didn't have anything prepped also I did get some clothes for maternity well they're not maternity clothes they're regular clothes sized up um, from H&M that I finally got in and I'd like to show you those I did try on one of the t-shirts and I got a large thinking like it'll cover my belly but have like a little bit hanging out where it's like cute. No, it's like way up here and it will not work and we can't return it because I turned the ta took the tags off and it was like super clear and so that you can't return it. But that's okay. I will grow, or not grow into it. I will post baby and get into it again. It's just a cute little green plain tee and a white tee, not this one, a different one. This one I put on and I realize I have a stain so that's really great anyways going to get cruise go to the pediatrician hopefully check his leg out oh he's just good good to go I'm gonna open I am drinking an Alani I'm gonna open one when I haven't had that much caffeine all I've had is like a little cup of coffee I didn't even finish it this morning I drink about half of an Alani and call it good I have talked to my doctor she's totally okay with it as long as I stay under my 200 milligrams which I will 100% be way under that because I'm only gonna do half which is a hundred and I probably had like half a cup of coffee and I don't think that's that much going to get cruise we are home we just demolish Chipotle it honestly wasn't that great they were out of steak so we had to get chicken and barbacoa Anywho, happy Friday. I washed all of our camper bedding and dishes. Those dishes live in the camper. And then Scott's gear, I need to go hang up. But all the sheets, towels, everything we used the last weekend. So I'm gonna go put them back in the camper for two weeks from now, we're gone again. Working on the tractor, the tiller. Got Cruz's flat tires fixed, so he's ready to ride. I was editing. I'm having like really bad cramps right now, so I'm sitting here stretching my belly out, but 
I have a poppy and I started to drink it and that's when I'm getting the cramps. So I'm thinking I'm gonna switch my water and just edit outside for a little bit while they play or cruise plays. It's the helmet for me. <laughs> Mommy, watch. Chris and I just came inside and one of my projects I would like to complete is going through this bin of clothes. This is like a full bin of newborn through I guess 2T probably is my guess. Actually, is newborn in here? No, I must have a tub somewhere else. So anyways, I kept all this in case I was going to have another little boy and obviously I'm not so I want to go through this and see if any of it's gender neutral to keep for sis or try to sell all this this is old clothes baby we'll see if he lets me do this I feel like I might have to do this when he's not here <laughs> going through Cruz's clothes has turned into him wanting to keep this do you want to keep it so you can play dress up Marshall Marshall this is so cute <laughs> We just got off FaceTime with Bo and all the boys, but it is 9.30 now. We have just been hanging out. Scott went and got his donuts because he had to go get gas um, and ice this morning. And I edited a vlog. Cruz played outside, rode his stay stick with his dad. And now Bubba Dean and his crew are here to build a track in the backyard, which I think I talked about maybe the vlog before this that we are building just like a track in the backyard, nothing too crazy, but to where we can ride here, have some friends over, people we love and trust, um, and possibly do some small group training for our side business. So anyways, they're kind of busy with that all day today. We'll probably go out there and check on it later. Um, but I was trying to get some things done in here, still working on my coffee, but I packed Cruz's bag to go to my mom's tonight. Like I said, my dad is out of town and my mom wanted Cruz and my niece Charlotte over, so I just have some jammies tennis shoes and socks and his allergy pill and probiotic for the morning if she needs to suck his buggers out she doesn't really do it but maybe i'll do it in the morning and then i kind of have a lot of outfits here one i have just an extra short sleeve t-shirt outfit for today if something happens and then here i just don't know if his pants fit from last year so i have like three pairs of pants here and a t-shirt and a pair of shorts because in the morning i have to pick up Cruz to take him to a birthday party and i will dress him but i just want to have some options there with me. He's going to nap here today before he goes, but I will end up putting the sound machine because they don't have one there and his pillow, which I don't know where it went. I think it's on the couch still and his baby. Other than that, he is packed, ready to go. My little OCD boy on the floor, lining up his cars. This closet's a mess because sister has just developed this whole closet all of this is like clothes i've bought used um from a friend and i just need to find a way to like store it i need to go get a bin for her because obviously she's not gonna be here for a little bit um and then i'd like to organize all this but it's like chaos organized i did go through all of his clothes and took out shirts i think that do not fit anymore um up here has some baby stuff actually that will probably just stay up there until the time being. Cruz is eventually gonna go downstairs, I think. I don't know, putting my three-year-old downstairs is not really working for me, but I also don't know where else he would go. And he is so brave and big, he wants to go. He thinks it's so fun. So we will see, I think that's kind of a winter project, but I did lay out his clothes for the week. Um, just kind of organized it. I'm waiting on a Chief's shirt to be washed for Red Friday, but that's ready for the week. Back here is some clothes that I went through last night that I think are neutral enough or Chiefs or Royals clothes that little girl can wear. Um, so I'm going to save those and not sell those. And then I saved these. I almost threw them away, but I'm like, she can wear black shoes. Like, get some frilly socks. She'll be perfect. I did get these, like, Vans pink socks, which how freaking cute. They're on sale. But we're just going to have a productive 
morning. I have the sheets in the wash. I actually just flipped them over. I now have the comforter in the wash. I'm trying to finish my cup of coffee. I need to drink some water. I would love to go on a walk before it gets super hot. So maybe I can talk Cruz into readiness. Stay sick with me. We'll see how that goes. I don't want to get all the way up our hill and him be like, I'm done riding a walk. Or like carry him in the stay sick. Absolutely not. Will that be happening? I would love to get caught up on editing this weekend. Maybe something I can do when Cruz is at Granny's house. But he is so excited to go to Granny's right before bed yesterday. He was like, um, tomorrow I get to go to Granny's. I'm like, yes, after nap. You have to go to sleep though first. And then I'm like, and then tomorrow you have to take a nap and then you go to Granny's. That's your underwear boy. It is your scooter. You're so crazy. Still need to go through all of his newborn bins. I realized yesterday that this is just like 18 months through possibly 3T, but I want to categorize these, take pictures of them, post them on Facebook Marketplace and see if I can sell them. I don't really want a bunch from it just because, I mean, it is what it is. They're used also, um, but there's two bins downstairs that are newborns that I need to carry up and bring up. So, oh yeah, all the cars. And speaking of little sister's room, which is not existent right now, this is going to be her room. Um, but I ordered a cute pink and white, it's like very dull pink. I'll have to show you a picture, but pink and white rug and then a rocking chair for her. Um, I need to carry this downstairs. I need to find a storage. I got this because it was super on sale for Labor Day. Otherwise I wouldn't have gotten it already. I just didn't want to lose it because that rug is so stinking cute and exactly what I want. Um, same with the rocking chair. So I need to get Scott to carry those downstairs. They're just a little too heavy for me to do by myself, but I need to find, I think our spare room is going to be Little Miss nursery prep room, possibly all of her clothes as well, just because there's so much. Just cleared off my fridge calendar. So I'm gonna fill this out for September. I'm like a few days behind and it's driving me crazy. We just keep it on our fridge right here so we can just look at and know what's going on. someone who was completely behind in editing I have finished three vlogs between last night and this morning and between getting some chores done so it's really nice that is happening I have the bar bar vlog which was last weekend right and then this weekend obviously is not complete because I'm in the middle of vlogging Currently, so if I can get the bar to bar vlog done, I'm completely caught up. I would love to, so I vlogged our IUI slash IVF consult journey, and I would love to, I don't know, I keep going back and forth. Originally, I was going to post those up until, like, announcing I was pregnant with IVF. Wow, my hair. But because I already announced I'm pregnant, the, like, whole idea of those vlogs are kind of it changed. Like, I don't know if I should still post them. Part of me is like, yeah, because that's my journey and that was my whole idea. So I have all this footage that I could post. There's probably three or four vlogs um, for like IUI. Just inside how I feel, what's happening, the real timeline, because I didn't really put that out there before. My close friends like no and family, but the whole idea was I was gonna do like a vlog series. I just have never edited and posted them. So maybe that would be awesome if I could completely do those and get those completely done, which it can be done. These vlogs have been, I've been editing pretty quickly. I've gotten to the point when I vlog now, I just, I know what I want in the vlog and I don't have to edit a whole bunch because there's not a lot that I'm just like aimlessly vlogging, hoping that I find something. Like I'm like, oh, that's great to vlog, boom, done. And the clip is done and I don't have to like do a whole bunch. Basically, I'm just getting better at it, essentially. <laughs> it's almost 11 o'clock, actually. I'm gonna see if I can talk Cruz into going outside with me. My hair is so greasy, I'm gonna wash that later, too. Going outside with me, I would love to go on a walk.
got chicken, banana, busies and pretzel. Daddy's got chicken and rice. Oh. Mommy's gonna make a chicken salad. Hi, Mom. I'm gonna straighten this out. Okay, I'll see you later. Let's go. You sure you don't want shorts? He doesn't give a shit. <laughs> The snack I've been so obsessed with is a zero sugar strawberry jello with some cocoa whip. Cruz left with my mom a couple hours ago, and to be honest, I've been editing. I'm completely caught up. Up, up until this morning, everything is edited. So, we love that. They're still working on the truck. Scott is somewhere back there. And I think I'm going to go downstairs and dig through my newborn bins and just get that project done without Cruz being here going through it all much easier i just brought these up this kid has so much clothes so this must be newborn through like 12 months because some of that is 18 months and then through 3t so all that i'm for selling for selling i'm selling and then all of this i'm gonna go through there's a lot of stuff like that's just yellow and gray she'll wear um but the seasons don't add up with the months with how i'm having them so we'll see what I can make work. Made the bed and sister's already making it herself at home. I think they're done with the track build back there. So I'm waiting on Scott because I'm freaking starving. I just threw on a t-shirt, a hat, brushed my teeth, and I'm hoping I can talk to Scott into meeting Madison and Jake up at Mexico and they just called and they are going to eat. So I was like, I'm starving. I would love to just go grab something to eat. So we'll see and then come back and watch Supercross. I just got back from Mexican. I talked to Scott into going to get Mexican. And then Jake and Madison were going, so we all went together and Jackson. Um, my hair is so greasy, so I am going to take a shower. It is 9 o'clock, and we are just going to shower, watch Supercross, and lay in bed. Cruz is with my mom, so we have a kid-free evening. I got to hold Miss Lennon Girl at dinner. Which I got my little baby fixed and I did take a picture. Deep so sweet. So she was holding on to my belly. It was so cute. And that's all it is. I'm gonna do everything shower. I think in the morning I'm gonna show you some pieces I got from HM that I talked about earlier in this vlog. Um for like some maternity cute outfits, casual outfits. I'm gonna wear one tomorrow to the birthday party, I think. So birthday party in the morning. So I'm gonna go get cruise in the morning, go to the birthday party. Scott and I talked about going to breakfast, maybe. We'd have to go so early, so I'm not really sure. But I'm gonna take my supplements, take an everything shower, wash my hair, and do my skincare and go to bed. That's what's happening. Happy Saturday. I feel like we kinda got a lot done. Anna took a nap today, so like successful day. We did get a track built back there. Um, nothing too crazy like I said, but Scott's happy with it. Now we have to get some rain to actually be able to ride it because we don't have a way to prep it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna wash this grease ball. Watch as it breaks down. I just got dressed and I'm unsure how I feel about it. This is one of the items I was going to show you in my maternity clothes haul I got. But I got these drawstring jeans, which are like a thing right now. Um, I saw it on JC Marie's YouTube and I couldn't afford the ones that she posted. But I found these on H&M that were very, I would say 30 bucks or so. Um, I think me not having a spray tan is really throwing me off. And I need a company to come out with like a tall version of everything. Because they're just a little shorter than I'd like. My closet lighting is like the worst, but like they're fine and they're cute and comfy and they're like little sweatpants. I think if I had a spray tan, I could pull them down just a little lower, but because I don't, you can kind of see like a couple of my stretch marks that I had with crews that are just still rocking there. But this is what I'm wearing. We're going to a two-year-old birthday party, so I don't really care what it looks like, but... 
they're comfy they're cute I tried I did straight my hair but it is just not not doing it for me today so we're just putting it in a clip and just be comfy for the party so I'm gonna go get Cruz since he stayed the night at my mom's I'm gonna get a coffee on the way and I had a bagel and strawberries for breakfast and I got to FaceTime Cruz this morning so I'm excited to go get him go to the party and then come home We've risked everything for love On the outside, always second in We'll still hold on to all we could have been To all we could have been Would you still take me for fool if I lay Give it all away for you Jump turn jump and this is going to be a berm and you're just going to be a straight away around yeah so in case i got to do stuff with the camper i have room to yes, park yes i agree are you so excited daddy's starting your track yeah, yeah. is there a tractor coming is there a tractor coming a combine it sure is you are going to jump that you're going to huh we'll get one more scoop for this jump and then we'll be done with getting dirt for here okay you come in? Oh, look who it is! Who is it? Who's that? My well, mom and dad. You go oh, he has no idea. He has no who idea. is that? Oh. It's Momo and Poppy! We just got out of bed. We've been chilling watching Prime and I have no idea what was on TV. We lost the remote, but my makeup is like all red. I wanted to show you the outfits I got. Mine don't don't look at the belly. Um and these jeans are so comfy. Like I said, my only complaint is how short they are. But they're from HM and they're actually sold out currently. I would maybe was gonna wear those with them. They're sold out currently. I went to my mom's to pick up Cruz and she was like, oh my god, those are so cute. So I went to send her the link and they're all sold out. But I will show you. Um, I'll link it below. I'm not going to try all these on because I just cannot. But this is one of the baby doll tees I got thinking it would fit me. This is too small. It came with this color. It's like a ribbed, really nice material. Ribbed white and green. Um, it came with a white one and then like an army green one. They're just too short right now. So these will be really nice. They were very, very cheap. Um, but the quality is really great. All of this is from H&M. But I was thinking to wear with like joggers, like things I'm wearing, like the jeans I'm wearing right now. Um, but they just do not fit my belly right now. So I got that. And then this one is so stinking cute. And maybe I should try these on some other time, but... It is one of these long sleeve, perfect material. It's like super stretchy. It's kind of like that Skims material, but it's a square neck to like dress up, long sleeve. It's so cute with the bump. Um, Really with these jeans would be so cute and dress it up. So I just did like pretty much basics. All of these are larges. This one I want to get in every freaking color. It's softer than the black one I just showed you. And it is a long sleeve. I'm doing this one handed. <laughs> it's a long sleeve like light brown. I would say like taupey color. So freaking stretchy. Again went large. But it's so cute with the bump. I think I'm probably going to have to get an XL in like a couple months. But very very cute. And then I got. I'm into these like drawstring pants these are a little see-through i will say but they will be nice to dress up dress down it's just black drawstring pants kind of like the jeans i have on but they're very affordable from h&m yes Cruz. i'm locked in just shut the bathroom door on me you locked me in i'm coming baby i'll be right there um and then at target i got the same type of similar pant um, I think I did a large at Target too. Yes, large. It's like a navy blue striped. So I was thinking really cute with like a cream sweater in the fall. Or like one of those long sleeves. I kind of need to get a navy blue one, I think. Actually, I think this says black. Yeah, white and black. So, I thought those were pretty cute too. I'm going for comfort this pregnancy. You cannot tell me comfort isn't best but I thought these were so cute they're pretty baggy I was telling my mom I feel like I could have went an extra large 
um, for the length because once I started walking they seemed really short. But I think you're just supposed to wear them lower waisted and I'm not a huge lower waisted person so I kept pulling them up which is how I like to wear them. But they're still cute. We're we having a little bowl of cereal snacks. Is that yours and mine? Yeah, mine. And yours. And mine. And yours. You want some milk on it? Yeah. Hi, we're doing. That. Yeah, that milk. Hi, we're doing. <laughs> Mommy, we're doing. Is it this milk? Yeah, I'm not doing. I'm not doing that. Yeah. Perfect. A little milk? Yeah. Good? Oh yeah, I got milk. Good. You got big milk. Big milk. Mine's bowl is bigger. Yeah, my babies. My babies. Cheers. My goodness. Get on it, Golden baby. days. Drifting far away Light is leaving town Colors fade But I'm thinking we stay just I'm gonna make a little element drink This one is raspberry salt I'm only gonna do like a little Let's half a of time. Like, Not the whole Darling, thing Let's track of time Darling, stay for a little longer